themselves before those idiots from New York show up to watch the leaves change and take over the whole place. <gasps> We're gonna be late for church. Move it! Damn leafers. Chris, quit it! Mom, Chris put his foot on my side again. I can't help it. <laughs> Who are all these people? Damn New Yorkers. They took all the good seats. Oh, God, ain't ain't tougher than me. You can't talk to the father like that, you stupid gavon. I ought to come over there and break your freaking arm. You wanna go, tough guy? I'll snap you in half like an almond biscotti from Bolero's... Punch combo! Stump! Beautiful! Again! Left kick! Wow, you're doing great for your first lesson. I'm really cutting loose, just like Julie Andrews in that movie where she showed her breasts. The lizard. Public urination is just wrong. Except during the Million Man March when protesters burned out porta potties. Then I use. I am a man eating tree! Go back to New York or I will eat you! Just like I ate insane New York anchorman Dan Rather! <laughs> And look who I had for dessert, Ace. I'm gonna be responsible for bringing fist fighting into our schools. Gee, Lois, can you can you hear me all the way back there in the fifties? Oh, that was lame. Ah, <sighs> poor Peter. I emasculated him in front of all those. <laughs> oh no! Ah, oh God! Oh my God! Oh, uh, help me! Help me! For God's sake, he's gonna kill me! No! Yeah, nobody walks all over my wife, cause I won't let him. Peter. Quiet, Lois. Men are talking. She, she learns things eventually. It just takes you longer. Come on, honey, we're out of here. If you hurry, I'll let you try on hats. I know you're not putting that rock up from here. You ain't got no jade. Yo, man, that's tripping. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Days are over. Lois Griffin demands respect. Ah! <clears throat> Ooh, I smell a messy diaper. God, why does that turn me on? Dumped on our lawn. New York Post, New York Magazine, the New York Mets. Peter, I'm sick and tired of hearing you whine about the leafers. Take some action. Free the beast! Just, uh, oh, hold on, Lois. Excuse me, New Yorker. I think you're in my seat and I had sex with your mother last night. Peter, are you crazy? What did you say? Oh, about the seat or about my plow and your father's wife? Go back where you came from, you bastards! <laughs> We'll conclude today's graduation ceremony with a demonst- Yakety yak, yakety yak, yak, yak. <laughs> you know, huh? Enjoy the fight. <laughs> oh, as I was watching that. What you, what you looking at? The underpants. Lose them. A actually, I, I kind of, I sort of have a headache, kind of. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Peter! Stewie, what did you do? It looks like he freed the beast all over the back. If, if everybody does it, if, if, everybody I know. Do. Shut up! Now, Stuart, I want you to take this mommy doll. Ah! Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, does Stuart have a history of aggression? No, no. Hitting Peter is the first violent thing he's ever done. Well, technically, the first act of violence. Manage what? I know I went a little overboard with my Tai Jitsu. Everybody, I got bad news. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, on Keen Eddie, The Street, American Embassy, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows... Bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, boy, I hope you stayed away from that Beyond section. <laughs> oh, here are the coffee mugs. Uh, it's good to have land. <laughs> uh, anymore. I mean, a honeymoon. Ah, oh, so much rug burn. Wait a second, Lois. That's what we need. We'll go on a second honeymoon. <gasps> Peter, that's a wonderful idea. Duel in my pants right now. You're the only one here to change me. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to change you. What? I said I'm not going to change you. Well, you can't be serious. Well, what if, what if I make a fudgy? Oh, well, I just won't. I just won't. Lois? Hey, Lois, honey. Sweetheart? Yeah! Uh, he's gonna do it! Oh, he's so ridiculous. You hear me, you ridiculous man? You're- Whoa! Peter, what the- He 
Peter, there's a hooker on the bed. Hi. Stand perfectly still, Lois. Their vision is based on movement. Where'd you go? And now... A soul! Ow. Don't take that. Raise your voice to them. Hey, knock it off! Look, you kids are obviously in need of some type of activity, so, uh... Peter and Lois were supposed to chaperone Chris's school dance tomorrow night, so I guess it's up to me. You mean it's up to us? Clearly you need my help with this parenting thing. You're too stupid to do it alone. Besides, I know how... That was all the money we had for this trip. Look, Peter, the second honeymoon was a nice start, but maybe we should just go home. <sighs> Coming up, handsome mustachioed man recaps news in pleasing baritone. Is, huh? Lois, I just got an idea. Much better than that time I experimented with gene splicing. Uh, Lois, quick question. Do we have any Tylenol? Mister, you're in serious trouble. He's absolutely right, kids, because when you drink, nobody wins. In fact, last year alone, there were over 27,000 deaths from chronic liver disease as a result of alcohol. Holy mackerel! Let me show you to your room, Mr. Gibson. Peter, the toilet paper is made of money. Yeah, and look at this. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. <laughs> if your teachers ask about your bruises, what do you tell them? I got hit by a baseball! <laughs> Yes, we could. Mm, but let's not. Do you think we were too hard on Chris tonight? What? Oh, God, no. No. Healthy for us, too. Oh, God, it's starting already. Lois, we are screwed. Wow. Mel Gibson's... Caviezel? Is that it? The guy from the first one? Passion of the Christ 2. Crucify this. But this is a multi-million dollar film, and he's a very powerful man. He could have us arrested or, or killed. It's worth the risk, Lois, to save the world another two hours of torture. The gain and on us. Oh, we never should have stolen this film. Oh, man, this is even more intense than... Surf's up! All right, see you, bitch. Everyone, guess what? What? I have been selected. For what? Oh, nothing too important. Just jury duty. They have summoned me. Oscar goes to... A red guy. Wait a second. You're saying that everyone is asked to do jury duty? Yes, Peter. So then, I'm not spe... Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. I don't care. Jury duty sounds boring. I'm gonna get myself kicked out. Just like I got kicked out of Coldplay. Guys, guys, I got an idea. Twas my pie gone missing. Sir, this is not an ant trial. Oh. Is there anything else we should know about? Oh, have you not heard? Heard what? Hey, how about this trial, huh? And all its details. Let's discuss them. He said not to. Oh, hey, you know how the judge told us not to make up our minds beforehand? Let's make up our minds. Griffin, shut up. Hey, I know the judge said not to run in the hall, but check this out. <laughs> he bested on the battlefield, Lionel. Oh, I don't think so, He-Man. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry, did I punch you too hard? Yes, I suppose you don't know your own strength. I mean, look at your muscles. Oh, stop it, you're the one with the sick abs. God, my mouth is watering just looking at you. Yeah, that's- Mom, is- is this for real? Well, it sure looks that way, sweetie. It's... the end of the world. Holy crap! Seems like I've run out of waiting time. Dear Space, well, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? You think you're so good because you went to Choate. Well, you're not going to be so tough when I put a fishbowl on my head and a rocket pack on my back and come up there and punch you. You're a good man, Joe Swanson. How was your first time? Oh, I've had sex lots of times. I just wanted to have it again. Screw you! Who else but Quagmire? Well, Diana... What was that? You were praying. Come on, no, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You were praying, I saw. Oh, man, it was a joke. You were praying. There was a goof. I was goofing on you. You're, you're, you're disingenuous. It's a spread and penis butt. Sounds kind of gay, Grandpa. It was gay. Everyone was. But back then, we were called pole fancies. It was real good old-fashioned grab the nearest tree and hold on for dear life gay. Not today's fancy featherbed thread count. It feels kind of like it's a Friday. Peter, where are you going? Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm going to find a black neighborhood and see what happens if I yell the you-know-what word.
They respect it. And with only 30 seconds to go, we thank you for choosing Channel 5 as your Armageddon network. <laughs> Wait, what did Dad just say? Yes, April Fools. We at Channel 5 News concocted the whole black hole story as part of our commitment to being fest- You mean? <sighs> All right, you want the truth? They bore the hell out of me, Lois. Bore the hell out of you? They're your kids! I know, and I love them, but... Don't you just sometimes wish they'd run away or get kidnapped and be made to work in a temple of doom? Nah, nah, nah. Whatever. So, Chris, how, uh, how are all your friends at school? What do you care? You don't even know who my friends are. Sure I do. Um, Chandler, Fonzie, and Remington Steele? Kids, you're gonna have to earn back their respect and affection. How do I do that? You gotta spend time with them and make their interests your interests. <sighs> I guess you're right, Lois.